Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to peek over my shoulder as I mosey about in the ton. It seems that after searching the helicopters, the stalker activity actually increases. Because right now, I, I haven't yet entered Skotovsk, but at the same time, the uh, zone is getting fuller. Fuller of life. <gasps> sell it to me, sell it to me, me. Nah, okay. What you're doing? Okay, actually I was on my way to the Iron Forest and uh, spoiler, I know that the new uh, poltergeist has spawned there because I, I already went there and got killed. There is also a very shy uh, bloodsucker on that meadow over there. I was trying to get it to follow me and uh, and troll these mercenaries here, but uh, after a while it just stopped chasing me and turned back. I have never seen such a territorial bloodsucker. But yes, my objective to go to the Iron Forest is to glitch out the door and gain access to that elusive uh, monolith stash. And that still leaves this one one stash, I think, which I don't know where it is. I mean, that's all based on assumption that there are 46 mark stashes in Zaton. If there are more, then of course I'm missing more. Yeah, I can hear Pseudodog. There's a pack of dogs here, and the new poltergeist, and if I'm in luck, then maybe they're gonna fight amongst themselves and leave me out of it. Okay, poltergeist, got it. Uh, fight a doggy. Also, I wonder if poltergeist activity actually helps to glitch the door out. Uh, maybe not. So, how do I make a safe exit and hopefully see some wildlife? in the process. Oh! Always inspirational. <laughs> See how the how the mark is moving in the minimap. Geist. Or did, uh, did the dogs already kill it? Nah, no. I don't know, sometimes the, sometimes the dogs and the fleshies will start fighting them. Uh, the poltergeists, I mean. Oh, these are my smoke grenades, which I so um, carelessly left behind. Okay, more mutants here. What about uh, what about gas station? Are there mutants there? Because if there are, then I see some mercenary trolling in the in my uh, immediate future. Oh, there are dogs. There are many dogs. Let's try this. Save my strength. I mean stamina. Hello. Piggy.
Where are the others? Oh, okay. I guess it isn't the right time of the day. Hmm. Am I far enough? I, I don't know what the coming online limit is. I, I think it's 50 meters, but others say differently, so I don't really know. I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit farther away and then approach the lab again. Noises. Maybe they are fighting the uh, poltergeist now. Or not. <gasps> it went out of the yard! Let's see where it goes. If it if it goes down the plateau, then sometimes the mutants will will be fighting amongst themselves there. Okay, doggy is there and poltergeist is there. They should be fighting, but they aren't. Why? Are you blind, dog? Was a trick question. I know. I know it isn't. You want to play? Let's play. Unfortunately, these boxes won't break. I s oh, what's happening? Oh, is somebody at this campsite? Another piece of evidence to support my idea that after after searching the whoa. Okay, this is pretty busy here. But after searching the choppers, shit gets livelier. See? Mutants fighting mutants, as it should be. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I have seen anybody in this campsite since the beginning of the game. I wonder if you don't search the mutant bodies, will they disappear? Keeping the zone clean! Ooh, 
just what I need, thank you. Keep the smoke grenade. Okay, let's see. I already repaired my suit, but yeah, I think... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yes. A little bit better. Oh, it's loaded. Before I repaired my suit and uh, and after repairing, the artifact uh, containers were empty. So I was like, I was thinking like, oh, maybe repairing stuff will will reset all equipped stuff. Your doggy. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna run through here. Never mind me. Dead soldier. Drink, drink. You need to drink. I think it's exactly in the same position as it was before, so no glitching yet. Oh, hello! Uh, I want to find a nice uh, spot, nice spot to see it. <gasps> this is actually a pretty nice spot. Okay, let's not go too far because otherwise we will be in the poltergeist radius. Funny thing is that uh, among the blowout audio, there is the uh, Skadov's corn, which you totally shouldn't hear all this way here.
to that. <sighs> Just because. Oh, it's raining again. Come on. <laughs> right, let me check the door just in case because I'm pretty sure passing out and waking up constitutes as coming online and offline. Nothing. Okay, let's carry on. The campsites were busy this time of the day, so I would expect quite casualty rich environment. Oh, run, run, run. I don't want to get the bucket. So, first campsite to check out this one. Fuck, there are dogs. Oh, did I leave a vodka for him? Nope. There you go. So, like anybody here? Huh. Survivors. Okay, the weather is killing my frame rate here. Oh, aren't you well in doubt? Find it. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, okay. Uh, I am going to go on a little loot round now, but I think I will end this episode here. Uh, because all the rain and fog is uh, is bringing quite a bit of stutter. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the.